Hello, I'm Nan Simonson. I wrote Aging Powerfully because at nearly 72, my mission for the next 10, 20, or 30 years as a health and wellness coach and culinary um, trainer for lifestyle as medicine, and especially whole food plant-based, I was asked um, what I eat in a day again and again and again. I thought, okay, today I'm gonna do it. I just got in from a four mile run. I'm working on a half a marathon in a couple of months. And so I do at least a four mile and then I do at least a six to seven mile and I still have to build up. I had COVID a couple of months ago and man, it took the air out of my lungs, but I'm, I feel like I'm back to what I was somewhat. Okay, so my breakfast has changed since I got this book in the mail. Um, Be a Plant-Based Woman Warrior by the Esselstyns, that is Jane and Anne Esselstyn. And Anne went on and on about her savory breakfasts and so does AJ, so does Dr. Dysinger, the doctor who is the founder of our lifestyle medical practice that I've been with for four years. I've been whole food plant-based for four years. And meaning, instead of a sweet breakfast like oats and maybe um, maple syrup or date paste or sugar and fruit and bananas, actually the way my husband eats his oats, but no sweeteners, just the fruits and the uh, bananas, the berries and the bananas. Um, the value of savory is that then you can add a bunch of things you wouldn't otherwise, even though I have added spinach to the sweeter oats. This is oat groats, spinach, a handful of frozen, and I buy the big, big bag from Costco because it's so well-priced of baby spinach, kale, chard, and um, uh, some other green. And I freeze it. And then you can just take hands full because it, it stays, you know, leafy, unless you pack it all down and mush it for space, which you can do too, and you're still grabbing handfuls. I put a handful in my bowl of about a half a cup of oats, and I actually mix the oats now with quinoa, super protein boost. And there is greens, there is ginger, there is um, dulse powder and shiitake mushrooms. And if you can see this thing, the point of it is that it looks like, I'm gonna put it way down. It looks like a broth and a soup and a stew. That's savory. Now, most of the world eats a savory breakfast. In Asia, in parts of the Middle East, they don't do what we do, coffee and a sweet roll. Um, a bagel and a bunch of stuff. And unless the bagel's made whole grain, it's really like Weber's bread. Um, so I have my, now I'm starting with my bowl of savory oats and mm, I just love them. Rather than give you the recipe, I'll recommend that you get this and it's Anne's Oats. Um, mm, they're great. I do drink coffee. This is three quarters decaf, one quarter caffeine, organic, fair traded. I get it from um, Trader Joe's and I, I grind and mix my own combination. I've gone to the herbal teas in the morning. I'll do one later today and then one tonight before I go to bed. But I just really like that coffee and it's black, no, no sweetener. And I still eat the berries I would have eaten because berries are the highest, especially blueberries and blackberries with their anthocyanins, the highest in nutrition. Of, and the raspberries are full of um, uh, fiber uh, as an antioxidant. So that's what I start my day with now. It was oats the way my husband had them. It was always the oat groats and then mixed. And we'll take it from there. If you have any questions, let me know. And you'll be picking me up again at lunchtime. Hello, it's lunchtime. And I'm making what I make every day that I am home. I love a big salad. I started with a full bowl of um, 
a variety of things. I have some um, broccoli slaw, I have shredded carrot, I have cabbage, just big fat slices of cabbage that I put in there, red cabbage all the time. I love fennel, so I, I slice some pieces off my bulb of fennel. And then I have arugula, kale, uh, chopped kale from Trader Joe's, some spring mix. In other words, you don't have to do all this, but this is what I do because I love it. And I'll show you what I use to chop. It's called the Quick Cut. It is, you can get it on Amazon. It was like $11. And I just, I use a glass bowl and I push this through. It takes a little bit of wrist action. I've had this since I was 15 years old. And I was amazed to find this on Amazon. But mine, stainless steel, the one they sell is uh, aluminum. And you might even have to put a napkin around it to protect your hand because it hurts a little bit if you push. But, so what am I going to do? I'm going to fill my husband's little dish with lettuce. And you'll see what he gets. And then I'm going to fill my bowl. If I have some left, I'll save it for the next day. But I usually, I do this with my hands when you're not looking. I usually do three really big hands full. And I think that's what I'll have today. Okay. So that's my chopped starter. And you're going to be amazed at how much I eat. I mean, simply amazed. Okay. Tuck myself in, get myself ready. And now I'm going to add some chopped jicama. Love jicama. It's a resistant starch and quite healthy. I'm going to add beet. I roast. I do everything batch cooked. So I roast beets at the beginning of the week. And I have roast beets uh, ready to go. You can buy them roasted already. A lot of you would never eat this much and certainly not to start a whole food plant-based diet because it might be way too much fiber for you. My body can take it because I've done this for a long, long time. What was that? That was red onion. I think the next thing I'll put in is my chopped uh, peach. Our farm store had gorgeous peaches and I love having a bit of sweet in there. I wish I'd chopped it a little bit more finely so that I had more bites with every bite. And then I have red radish. So what do I have here? Sweet, bitter. And then I'm going to add my slices of small red bell pepper. You buy these. I always, everything I'm putting on here is organic. I have sliced uh, sugar snap peas. I have purple sweet potato. Now, if you look back at my videos, and I have a video of making the chopped salad from when I began, probably, gosh, how long ago? A couple of years ago with my, um, with my uh, demonstrations on YouTube. You'll see that I decorated them in such a way that I had lines of um, vegetables and fruit and you can really discern. Now, I just pack it in here because when I put my dressing on, my husband's home. Hi, Tim. Hey, and your, your lunch is ready. He's probably yeah. thinking, oh, crud. Here she goes again. There goes my meal. No, it's ready because I'm going to show you his meal. Look how much I put on. This is Nan's house dressing. It's a takeoff on... Chef AJ's house dressing. So, Kim, did you put this? Do you want to say hi? I think you've seen him, maybe. This is Tim. Get down there. Hi. <laughs> Thanks, honey. That goes on my place. Yours is ready, and you can put the dressing on there. Gotcha. This is what he eats. Did you see he's a slim man? But man, what he eats. That's whole food plant-based. Eat more, weigh less. He has these gorgeous avocado sandwiches that have ooh, avocado, sliced red onion, sliced tomato, sprouts, 
as well as lettuce leaves. We have a dip of hummus because this is what I put in my Rebel air fryer. Yum, yum, yum. Batch cooked potatoes. And I got those teeny, teeny, teeny little potatoes already cooked. Then I simply cut them in half and kind of break them, sprinkle them with nutritional yeast, a little bit of no salt seasoning. And this is his meal, a sand open face sandwich, peach, grapes, pickle. Oh, and did I show you I put pickle in mine as well because I like salty, savory, sweet, bitter. He's holding his hands out like, just give it to me. Anyway, and then we have tomatoes and carrots and sugar snap peas and pickle and hummus for his potato. That's you, what friend. we do every day. And at the end of my meal, I had a hot beverage. That's how I know the meal's over. Even a, either a cup of decaf coffee or an herb tea like ashwagandha. And then along with his, when I air fried them, these are thin little slices of sweet potato, the white sweet potato, Hannah, Hannah yam. These are like candy when they've been air fried. And I put the tiniest bit, and I mean the tiniest bit, on every one of these pieces of total. There's less than, oh, maybe a half a teaspoon of nut butter. And then I, it's like eating a cookie though. Okay, that's it. I will be back to you for lunch. And um, I think that's it. I hope you're having a great day because, gosh, so far I sure am. Bye-bye. Okay, it is 5.20. We're going to be eating in 10 minutes, and I'll show you what we're doing for supper. And I love things easy. I make big pots of soup, and I, as you hear, I batch cook. For example, today's lunch potatoes were pre-cooked, but they were batch cooked. And then I just squash them down and put them in the air fryer. Well, I'm batch cooking in my uh, Instapot a well, two pounds of chickpeas, which will then be drained, laid out on a tray, frozen, and then packed into freezer bags. I wanna take you back to breakfast. One thing I didn't mention is that I drink uh, matcha tea. Every morning I have a little cup whisked up of matcha tea because green teas are great for us and they're full of antioxidants. And the um, matcha tea, and I get a ceremonial grade matcha organic, they are the entire leaf ground up. So you get masses of antioxidant that way. I made some notes for myself. The greens in the oatmeal, I didn't mention the value of that. Polyphenols, phytonutrients, phytochemicals, and something that you might wanna look up and that's thylakoids. T-H-Y-L-A-C-O-I-D-S, thylakoids. The thylakoids as it relates to health. What, why is our thylakoids good for my health? You will find that they help regulate appetite, they help regulate insulin, they help us digest fat, they help us stay full, and what is thylakoids? They're in green leafy vegetables, they are the center of photosynthesis in the plant, but in our body, they do a wonderful job for us, kale, spinach, broccoli, mainly leafy uh, leafy greens, dandelions, cabbage, lettuce. Um, what else did I wanna tell you? Oh, that when we eat the way we eat, so much fiber, we make sure to drink a lot of water, at least the 64 ounces that are referred to and even more than that because that fiber has to go through you. But the other thing is when we eat the way we eat, we're not hungry in between meals. When I ate my breakfast, I didn't eat again until you saw my lunch. When I ate my lunch, I haven't had anything until dinner time. Now, if I wanted to, I would have, but I wasn't hungry, I was still full. That's what high fiber foods do. That's why we can eat more, weigh less, and feel better than ever on whole foods that are plant-based. The quick cut I mentioned, the cutter, it's K-W-I-K, K-U-T, if you're looking for that on Amazon. And what else did I wanna tell you? Um, 
Oh, and I didn't show you salad protein. When I made my salad, I quite often use dry roasted edamame and I get it from a company. I get it online from Amazon. I get it from a company, Seaport Farms, dry roasted edamame, one quarter cup, tiny amount. You can overeat this stuff, don't do it. One quarter cup of it is 14 grams of protein, eight grams of fiber, 130 calories. Um, super, super healthy. Sometimes I'll sprinkle that on and when I mix it up, I love the crunch in my salad. I'll use my chickpeas on my salad. I'll use other kinds of beans and grains, things like quinoa and black rice on my salad. What you saw was the vegetable part and then there's a legume and sometimes there's a grain that goes on as well. And I think that's what I wanted to tell you. So what do we have tonight? As I said, I like to do things easily. I make big pots of soup and it's 101 degrees here today in Riverside, California, but we still have soup. We love our summer soups. And this is split pea. So I took my little container out of the freezer of split pea soup. I have a lot of it. And I did what I always do with my frozen reheated soups. I have a container that would give us two relatively small bowls. I added more broth to it. I make my own homemade broth. Then I added some leftovers. I had some carrots, cooked carrots in the refrigerator. I had some vegetables like broccoli and um, zucchini in the refrigerator. And I piled all those in here. So it's a split pea vegetable soup. And I'm going to serve it. There's chopped potato in here. And then I'm gonna do a couple of things that I like to do. And that is dress it up. So I'm gonna dress it up with my vegan sour cream. You'll get that at nansimmonson.com. It's simply silken tofu. That's it, silken tofu, lemon, and some seasonings. Then I'm gonna scatter a little bit of chopped tomato over it for color, but also it's a little bit of zing. My husband said, oh, I'd like some jalapenos. These are sliced jalapenos and a grind of pepper. Easy meal, beautiful and delicious. Then I chopped up tomatoes with cucumber, Kalamata olives, some cilantro, and I even use a little bit of the olive juice and then I use balsamic vinegar, the condensed balsamic. I get Napa Natural Reserve, Grand Reserve, and it's 4% um, acidity. It's very thick. Or I would get California balsamic, which has a lot of different flavors. So we have our soup, we have our salad. We'll finish with fresh fruit. We always do. I made out of Be a Plant-Based Warrior, the corn muffins. Look at these beauties. We'll have corn muffins with it. And this is what they look like in the recipe book. Look at that. The difference between theirs and mine is that we have the option of adding blueberries to it. But with this meal, Blueberries I didn't think would be the right flavor. So we just have a plain corn muffin, slightly sweetened, and I'm going to put on a little bit of, of um, what I love, which is um, a chutney. Trader Joe's makes a really nice chutney. So it's a spicy, cinnamony, gingery jam, a lot less sugar, and I like that flavor. And then, we're going to have our vegetable, and this happens to be, you'll find this at nansimonson.com as well. This happens to be roasted peanut, roasted peanutty, roasted eggplant. And I make a whole bunch of the sauce, cut the eggplant in half, get it a little brown on its top, the, the cut edges in a pan, and then bake it with this sauce on it. It's savory, it's delicious, and that's our meal. So what do we eat for a day? <laughs> You saw oatmeal, you saw a huge salad, you see a beautiful dinner, 
And um, then I do what we call intermittent fasting or time-restricted feeding. I will be finished eating by 6, maybe 6.15. It's 5.30 now. We're going to eat. And, and I will be... Um, I won't eat again until after my run or cycle in the morning, and that'll be at about 8.30. So it's about a 14 hour window of time that I put nothing more in my body and let it do what it's supposed to do, which is work on digesting food and letting me sleep easily and well without a stomach full and without the regurgitation of acids that happens with some people that causes a lot of problems. So I think you learned, I mean, I hope, you learned um, some ideas of not just what I eat in a day, but why. Whole food, plant-based, high fiber, all the colors of the rainbow, phytonutrients, phytochemicals, polyphenols, everything our body wants to feed our microbiome, to make us healthy and strong and live powerfully. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you again on the